Human, you, you kind of touched on it about varicoceles and their potential impact on male fertility. So why don't you kind of tell our listeners like what that uh, you know association is? Yeah, so, so the way I break it down is um, the testicles are very temperature sensitive. They like to live in this narrow temperature range. And the scrotum is like a thermostat. So, you know, it really helps keep that the testicles within that narrow temperature range, um, contracts and relaxes based on t- the temperature. When, when blood pools around the testicle as a result of the faulty veins, that, that the testicular temperature is elevated. And as a result of that, it causes a couple of things. So I, I always say there's four things that it, that it could cause. Infertility, and I'll, I'll come back to that one. Um, testicular pain, you know, testicular atrophy in terms of smaller size. And then I also tell guys about testosterone, the negative impact mm-hmm. you have on testosterone, mm-hmm. where some guys, you know, they have no other reason that they have low T, right? no other reason other than they have a varicocele. And one thing that I offer them, hey, listen, if you have low T and you have a varicocele, we, c- we can get an improvement. But to answer your question about fertility, um, anytime you have increased testicular temperatures, the, the sperm, sometimes the concentration, the, the count, the way they look, the way they move, all of those motility morphology can be impacted. But more importantly, the, the, the DNA, the quality of the DNA gets increased oxidative stress, and it really negatively impacts the quality of the DNA, which could significantly impact fertility for some couples. 